Hey, I'm Chef Tom with All Things Barbecue, and today I want to walk you through how to prepare competition style chicken thighs. Let's start with trimming the thighs. The first thing we'll do is remove the skin completely from the thigh. These skins can have a lot of fat on the back side of them, which will negatively affect the bite through of that skin and the finished product. So we'll be slicing the skin from the bottom side with a very sharp knife. This Victorinox boning knife is perfect for the job because it's flexible and fine enough to get in there. Now we'll trim any excess fat from the thigh itself. In order to get these things as uniform as possible, and we want all of them to be about the same size and shape, we're going to cut this knuckle bone off of this side. That'll make sure that our meat can wrap around completely without altering the shape of the thigh. With competition chicken, it's really important that all of your thighs are as evenly sized and shaped as possible. The very first thing that the judge is going to grade you on is what that chicken looks like in the box. All right, next we're going to inject the thighs. We've mixed up some of the Butcher Barbecue Bird Booster Chipotle injection with some water, and we're just gonna pick a few spots around this thigh to inject. We'll do this with each thigh and then place them in a zip top bag and pour the remaining injection mixture in the bag with the thighs. Now throw those in the fridge and let them soak for an hour. We'll be cooking our chicken today on a Yoder Smokers YS640 pellet cooker set up for indirect grilling. And we'll be cooking at 275 degrees. Now let's get these thighs seasoned up. We'll apply the rub to all of the surfaces of the meat. We also want to give a light dusting to the back side of the skin. That's the side of the skin that's going to be touching the meat. With the meat seasoned, we can begin to wrap the thighs back in their skins. You want your skin to cover all of the flesh and any excess you can tuck underneath the thigh. Consistency is key. It's all about the presentation. With our skins back in place, now we'll give another light dusting of the Plowboy's Yardbird on top of the skin. I want to prepare the pan by putting some Butcher Barbecue Chipotle grilling oil in the bottom and spreading it around. Now we'll carefully transfer our thighs, keeping those skins in place, into the pan. As the juice and the fat renders out of the thighs while they cook, it's going to mix with this grilling oil and kind of incorporate some of that buttery, fatty, delicious Chipotle flavor into those thighs as well. We're gonna cook them uncovered for 30 minutes. Open cooking the chicken for this initial 30 minutes is going to serve a couple of purposes. One being that this is our time to get some smoke into that chicken, and the other that we're going to develop some color and some flavor and some texture on the outside. After the initial half hour, we'll take the pan off, wrap it in foil, and put it back into the cooker. The foil allows us to trap some of that moisture in the pan, as well as providing even cooking for all of those thighs. As the thighs come up to temp, we'll mix and warm our sauce. We're mixing together a cup of Plowboy's Sweet 180 and a cup of Firebug Grilling Sauce Hot. We'll add to that a half cup of wildflower honey. Now we don't want to cook our sauce down, we're just looking to heat it up enough so that when it hits the chicken, it's not going to slow the cooking process. The next thing we'll be looking for is an internal temperature of 150 degrees. Meanwhile, what's going on in there is we're trapped a lot of moisture inside that pan. That moisture is getting into that meat, and that meat's cooking nice and evenly. When the internal temperature reaches 150 degrees, it's time for us to sauce. But certainly there's different techniques for how you would apply your sauce to your chicken. What we're going to do is we're going to actually dip the chicken thighs into the sauce. We want to be able to completely submerge them, and that way we don't get any brush strokes on the top. Now after dipping the thighs into the sauce, you want to transfer it to a wire rack. The wire rack's going to allow the sauce to drip off and not pool at the bottom of the chicken thigh. Now there's one last finishing touch we want to add to these thighs, and that's JP's Chicken Scratch Finishing Spice. I'm not going to trust the shaker to get this stuff on here evenly. Uh, one false move and you've got a giant pile of finishing dust on your competition thighs. Nobody wants to bite into that. I'll remove it from the shaker and sprinkle it on by hand. Continue cooking until you reach an internal temperature of 160 degrees. All right, your chicken's at 160 degrees. You're finished cooking it. It's time to bring it inside or to the trailer, wherever you may be, 
and throw it into a Cambro or a cooler to try and keep that temperature consistent, to try and keep it right where you want it when you serve it to the judge, because it may not quite be time to throw those in the box yet. Now, if you're just getting into this competition thing, you're gonna find for yourself that as important as consistency is adaptability. Uh, you're gonna learn what works for you, and you're gonna learn what the judge is like. It's your job to apply those lessons to your food. Now, there are a few things that we can count on from the judges every time. One of those being that you've got to make the best impression with your food in a single bite. And you might be looking at this recipe and going, there's seven ingredients in here. Why do I need all that flavor? And that's because you've got one chance to let that judge know that this is the best chicken he's tasting today. And the reason is big flavor. Another thing the judge is going to be looking for is bite through skin. Most of the time these guys pick this thigh up, they take a single bite, and if that skin pulls off the thigh with the bite, you're in trouble. And that's the main reason why we've taken the time to slice that fat off the bottom side of the skin. What you see here is a perfectly clean bite through, and that's what we're looking for. I hope we've helped up your guys' chicken game today. Good luck in all your future comps, and thanks so much for watching. If you guys enjoy the video, please click that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments or there's anything that you'd like to see me cook, let me know in the comment section down below. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, you can head over to thesauce.atbbq.com. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.